first off, I'd go straight for the ass. It's arguably the best part of a human being. Oh, yeah, 100%. Also, I'm choosing the person with the best ass to kill and eat. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tiny Talk Show, where the tiny talk tackles the tough questions. I'm Darren Karp, here with an extremely special guest today, Jack Wellborn from Konbi Restaurant. What kind of food is is that it's Japanese food okay it's based on Japanese convenience stores called konbini Interesting. so it's a lot of katsu sandwiches egg salad sandwiches a lot of like really nice little vegetable sides and we do a Japanese breakfast as well this is why we had you on the show because you're gonna tackle the important tough question today if you were forced to cook human meat how would you prepare it Obviously, humanely, of course. You're not murdering of people. Course, yeah, Let's humanely. hope. I don't know. I've never been to your restaurant. No, we we yeah. don't know what to expect. Before we get into the question, I just have three kind of small talk questions I want to get through, Jack. All right? What's one thing you'd make bigger? Humans. How big are we talking, Big, Jack? big. Like over seven feet? Like we're all basketball players? No, more like 12 to 20 feet. I want to like rip trees out of the ground. Pick up larger rocks. Okay, so things like that. Presumably, we'd be stronger and taller. We would be much stronger, much taller. Fair. Well, yeah. what's one thing you'd make smaller? Cheeseburgers. Ex- get the f- off the set. <laughs> Why would you ever want a cheeseburger to be smaller? They're too big. They're too big. I like a nice White Castle slice. Thin, thin patties. Okay. American cheese. Easy to eat. I'll do a double. Double's cool. Oh well, now you get. But get your like thick patty. Massive bun. I get that out of here. You want to be 20 feet tall, but like a, with a really tiny cheeseburger. With a well-sized cheeseburger. A well, okay, An appropriately yeah. sized cheeseburger. God, I'm so scared to even ask you this last question. Uh, What's one thing that you think has the most perfect size? The most perfect size. A clementine is the perfect size. All right. I like the food theme here. This yeah. is good. Well, Jack, this is why I invited you on. You're the most perfect person to answer this question. If you were forced to cook human meat, how would you prepare it? And so I ask you, Jack Wellborn, Mm -hmm. if you were forced to cook human meat, Mm -hmm. how would you prepare it? Okay, first we need to talk about body type because this is extremely important. We might start bordering into body shaming here, but you can't have somebody that's too large. You can't have somebody that's too thin. And you certainly can't have somebody that's too muscular. You want like a dad bod weekend warrior. Interesting. Okay, but like, but could also be female. Totally, exactly. Do you think female meat tastes different than male meat? I doubt it. Yeah. So I'm gonna definitely gonna dismember this body. I'm gonna I'm gonna wow. cut it up. First off, I'd go straight for the ass. It's arguably the best part of a human being. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Also, I'm choosing the person with the best ass to kill and eat. Oh. That's how I'm, I'm basing really it off the booty. Okay. Okay. You're basing it off. The basing booty. it off the booty. Okay. Got 100%. it. Hundred percent. Got it. So like some booty tacos. Some or something. booty booty tacos would yeah. be great. Cool. We're probably gonna do the thighs at the same time, so we're gonna braise them for sure. I gotta break down those tendons, so it kind of releases off the bone a bit. Yeah, I would love releasing off the. bone. Yeah, releasing off My the bone is really really eating. especially when it's a human being. Okay, so you're at your restaurant and you're cooking human meat mm-hmm. and you want to serve it, but you don't want the customers to necessarily know that they're eating human meat. Right. 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 So how are you marketing this? human beef patty. So we can definitely can't tell customers that this is organic meat that they're having. Right. However, you know, it could be locally sourced. Just be like, it's local, wink. Like very local. Yeah. I don't even know what the flavor profile of human meat would be. I'm going more towards like a an easy beef flavor, I feel like is what a human's gonna taste easy like. Easy beef flavor. Easy beef God, flavor. God, that is. It's a, it's a new ramen noodle. Easy you know what, it'll flavor. be easy beef with a a, a little, nice wink. little wink. Ah, you're gonna yeah. be the cover of our new ramen. I'll Easy be the ramen. the uh, dystopian future like milk box kid. But yeah. I'll just be winking on a box of Easy at, Beef ramen at 20 feet tall. At 20 feet tall. You know what, Jack? We bring it full circle. Ah, uh, we have. We have. I actually want to play a little game with you. Okay, sounds great. It's a game called What's in My Mouth. We're gonna give you a uh, a palette of okay. different things to try. Now, before this, he said he was Whoa. not allergic to anything. Not that I know of. And you're basically gonna have 30 seconds okay. to get as many right answers as you can. If you get three answers right in 30 seconds, uh-huh. you're walking home with a brand new refrigerator today. Oh God! In order to store oh. all the easy beef flavor. <laughs> so this is going to be a really important game, and I hope you get it right as a oh, chef. Oh sh! Okay. We're back. Jack is fully blindfolded. He cannot see what's in front of him. 
You still look stylish as hell. Thank you. We're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. Again, you got to get three right to get that brand new refrigerator. Okay, Jack, open your mouth and get ready to be fast. What do we think this is, Jack? Kind of greasy. Okay. What could it be? Like a braised cabbage Definitely not meat. You know what? I'm going to give that to you because it's not meat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are opening for the second round. What do you taste here? Some f***ing jerky right there. Yeah, it's some f***ing jerky. All right. It wasn't human jerky, was it? You may never know. Okay. Open your mouth for that third. Mmm. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that's f***ing, um, hummus. Yes, it is hummus. Jack, you won a lovely refrigerator. Oh, my God. That's a large thing to bring home. Yeah, it's, well, you'll be fine. Mm, Jack, thank you so much for being part of Tiny Talk Show. Where can people find you? Uh, shopping at the farmer's markets. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, Hollywood on Sundays. You can find me at Conby. Okay, Thursdays, go there. Thursdays through Mondays. You can find me at, at the 1950s on Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, thank you so much for being part of Tiny Talk Show. Audience members, let us know how you would cook human meat. The chef winked at me before serving my food. I'm not really sure I would find that. Yeah.